Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. If you're trying to test your fuel injectors and make sure that your fuel injectors are not leaking. Leaking fuel injector can destroy your engine and we're going to discuss that as we go. Make sure you stand till the end and we'll cover that guys and we'll explain how that can happen. Now there is a way to test if your fuel injectors are leaking but it's dangerous. That's what we'll be doing here. I wouldn't recommend it but I'll just show you what we do here at the shop. Do not attempt it guys. Every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Specifically guys on BMWs and German vehicles we make even more. Why we do all that? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you need to buy new fuel injectors, parts, tools you can check out the link in the description of the video below and that's where we get all our tools and parts from guys. Now we're making this video because many of you asked us how do you check for leaking fuel injectors. So if you have a question just leave a comment below guys and we'll try to make a video as soon as, uh, as we have some free time. Now those are the fuel injectors right here. We'll demonstrate on a BMW but that should cover multiple vehicles. And before we start guys check this channel out. This is our second channel it's called Electrical Car Repair Life. And we have helped millions of people guys to fix their cars and we have, uh, we, we have videos that can save you hundreds, hundreds of dollars guys on car repairs, even thousands of dollars. So that being said guys, now the job is very dangerous. What I recommend, get guys, okay, fire extinguisher on the side, uh, gloves, eye protection, uh, goggles guys, because uh, we'll be spraying gasoline. Don't do that on hot engine, avoid avoid having guys open flames park anything like that and you can practically get your car on fire anytime so with that being said i'm going to remove that cover so i can explain a few things here this is our fuel rail with the fuel injectors now you can see the fuel line is connected to the fuel rail so everything is like it should guys like the car is running and we okay we just remove the fuel injectors with the fuel line all the way up so we still have the pressure in the fuel rail right here if you don't have uh, pressure in the fuel rail, connect your hose and turn your ignition on without starting the car because you don't have the injectors on. Turn the ignition on for about 5 seconds, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off guys, until it builds pressure in the fuel injectors. After that, okay, what we are going to do? We are going to guys, okay, we are going to get, uh, you can see every fuel injector has two wires. Most of the cars guys, not all, but most of them will use okay you'll be able to activate the fuel injectors with just a 9 volt battery okay but avoid sparks because you can catch yourself on fire have a few people with fire extinguishers guys now this is a 9 volt battery right here doesn't matter where you install the positive and the negative you can reverse them as long as you don't touch both of them together because you can cause damage to the injector if you touch them together you can burn it once you touch the battery check it out what's going to happen now okay Injector is spraying, right? Check it out again. Okay, let me come on this side so I can show you in a better angle even, guys. Okay, how you do that. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, and once you stop, guys, make sure that it's not dripping fuel. Okay, if you guys have a leaking injector, it's going to keep dripping fuel. And once you remove the injectors and you have pressure in the fuel rail, if it's a leaking injector, it will keep dripping fuel. Ours is good, guys. It closes all the way and we can test all of them that way but you can see there is not even a single drop of fuel so that's how we test for uh, for fuel injectors guys okay you can do it on a stand which is safer but you can do it that way too and i wouldn't recommend it so don't do what we do but you can see how we test it here at the shop hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time